let's solve this problem 371 so in this problem it is said that one of the vertical walls supporting in v of the 200 kg uniform shaft of sample problem 35 right so we have solved this sample problem 35 so this is exactly that same shaft of 200 kg and but this wall is now turned uh, having a 30 degree angle with the y axis right so in that sample problem this wall this wall D and this wall C were perpendicular to each other, right? But now this wall D is making some angle with the y axis. So it is said that end A is still supported by the ball and socket uh, connection. So the end A is supported by ball and socket joint in the horizontal xy plane. So it is said that calculate the magnitudes of the forces P and R exerted on the ball and B of the shaft by the vertical walls C and D respectively, right? So wall C applies the P force, P reaction force. So I have represent, represented this uh, P force in this free body diagram. So this is the free body diagram. And this is the R force exerted by this D wall, right? So this is D wall, this is C wall. This is given. So we are asked to find this P and R reactions. First what I will do is that I will find, let's say that this is the origin in this case so I will find this OB distance right so we have this distance 2 meter and this distance 6 meter and this whole distance is 7 meters right so overall let's say that this OB distance this OB height is equal to H let's say so H uh, we can find this H by using the Pythagoras theorem right so we can write that this hypotenuse right so this means that 7 square will be equal to this 6 square plus 2 square this 2 square right and plus this OB square or plus H square right so we can write that this will be H square so then H square this H square will be equal to uh, this H will be equal to 7 square minus 6 square minus 2 square under the root 2 right and when we solve this so this comes out to be 3 meter exactly uh, like that sam sample problem 3 5 right so this height is 3 meters so i can write here that this height is 3 meters this ob height now if we look into uh, this r reaction force from the top right so if we look into this reaction force on the top so it will be making 30 degrees right with this uh, uh, line which is parallel to the x-axis right so how it is it will be making 30 degrees since this d wall is making 30 degrees with the y-axis is right and this line this line is parallel to this y-axis is right and this line is parallel to the x-axis is right and this is the edge of that wall so this r will be perpendicular to this d uh, wall right so this wall which is making some angle right so this r is perpendicular if i write so this R is perpendicular with this line right and this line this line which is parallel to the x axis is perpendicular to this line this is the y axis is right let's say that this is y dash and this is x dash right so x dash is parallel to x and y dash is parallel to y axis so this R is making angle with the y dash axis and this is that x dash axis which is perpendicular with the y dash so this means that the angle between these two is 30 degrees so the angle between these two is also 30 degrees right so this is 30 degrees so now as we can see that this R will have two components right so this R is in the xy plane remember so this is that xy plane that I have mentioned here right so these purple lines are the edges of the xy plane right so this R will have two components and it will have one component in this direction if I draw it so it will have one component like this and let's say that this is Rx and Rx will be R cos of 30 degrees right and similarly it will have one another component and that component will be along the y axis is right so if I draw it on the top of this R if I draw it somewhere here right so this is Ry and Ry is the sine component right so it is R sine of 30 degrees and similarly this P this reaction force will be perpendicular to this wall C so this wall C is parallel to the x axis so this P force will be parallel to the y axis is right 
So this is P force. So now we can write this R vector, right? So R vector, this is R vector, right? So if we write the vector representation of the R reaction, so R vector will be equal to, so this will be R x i, right? So R x i means that it is R cos of 30 degrees along i and it is along positive i, right? And then R y, it is along positive y, so we can write, so this will be plus R sine of 30 j and if we take r common and cos of 30 is under the root 2 divided uh, 3 under the root 2 divided by 2 i and this is 1 by 2 j right so this means that if we take 1 by 2 common so this r vector will be r divided by 2 i plus 1 by 2 j sorry 1j right so this will be j so this is the vector representation of that reaction r right and since this point a is supported by a ball and socket joint so there will be three reactions along all the three axes right so if i draw those reactions so one reaction will be along x right like this so let's say that this is ax there will be one reaction along the y axis. Let's say that this is in this direction. This is our assumption, right? So we will know this is a y. And there will be one reaction along the z axis. This is our positive z axis, you remember, right? This is our positive z axis, right? So this is a z. So now if we find the summation of moment about a equals to zero, Right, so we will be able to eliminate these ax, ay, and az, right, and we will be able to find this p and r. And similarly, this uh, shaft has a mass of 200 kg, right, so its weight will be acting uh, at the midpoint of this length, right, so this whole length is 7 meters, right, so if we represent that weight, so this will be that weight and which will be acting at the midpoint of this shaft, right. So let's say that this point is G, let's say. So this A, G and B, G distance is 3.5. So now this weight, this is the weight, right? So this weight is producing the moment about this point A and this P and R are producing the moment about that point A. So to find the moment about A uh, using the cross product method, right? So we will write that R cross weight vector, right? And what will be the moment arm for that weight. So this A G will be the moment arm, right? So I can write that this is R A G, right? And plus the moment arm for this P and R is same, this A B length, right? So we will write so R A B cross and P plus R, right? So P and R both have the same moment arm. So we can write it directly like this as well, right? So P plus R. And this will be equal to 0 since this uh, shaft is in equilibrium, right? So now to find these moment arm vector, we have to find the coordinates of this point G and this point B and the coordinates of this point A, right? So if I write the coordinates of point A, so as we can see that this point A is in the xy plane, right? So the z coordinate will be 0 and to reach this point A, we have to travel 2 meters along x. 6 meters along y and 0 meters along z, right? And the coordinates of point V are, since this point V is on the z axis, is right? So the x coordinate will be 0, the y coordinate will be 0, and we have to travel this 3 meters, right? So this is 3 meters. And similarly, to write the coordinates of point G, so since this point G is at the midpoint of this shaft length, right? So we have to travel half of the distance of this 2 meter along X. So I will write 1. Along Y we have to travel this 6 divided by 2. So this is 3. And along the Z we have to travel half of this 3 meter distance which is 1.5, right? And all these are in meters. So these are the coordinates of point E, B and G. So now to find our A, G moment arm, we will subtract the coordinates of A from G, right? So this will be 1 minus 2, so 1 minus 2 minus 1, I, 
3 minus 6, right? So, this is minus 3j and 1.5 minus 0. So, this will be plus 1.5j. So, this is that moment arm vector for the weight and R A V. So, we will subtract the coordinates of A from B, right? So, 0 minus 2 minus 2 i and this will be 0 minus 3. So, minus 6 j and plus 3 k, right? So, now we will use these moment arm vectors and what is the weight vector, right? So, this weight is acting in the negative z direction, right? So, we can write that weight vector as well. So, weight vector will be equal to 200 into 9.81 is 1962 and since this is in the negative k direction, so we will write minus and the p vector is in the along the y direction, right? So, we can write p j and it is in the positive j direction, right? So, now we can use uh, this equation, right? So, we will put all those uh, vectors. So, this will be minus i minus 3 j plus 1.5 k. So, this is that this moment arm cross this w vector. So, this is a w vector which is minus 1962 k plus r a b, right? So, this is that r a b which is minus 2 i minus 6 j plus 3 k and cross and p plus r, right? So, this is p. So, p is p j plus r. So, this is that r vector plus. So, this uh, we can write it like this. So, this will be r and this 2 divided by i. This is square root 3 divided by 2 i and then this plus half j and this will be r divided by 2 j, right? So, we will take the cross product of this. So, now if I draw again this uh, figure, so this is i, j and k. So, if we multiply this, so uh, i cross k and minus 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 into minus is plus 1962 and i cross k is minus j, right? So, this will become again negative. So, minus 1962j and then minus into minus plus and j cross k is i and this will be 3 into 1962j cross k. j cross k is i, right? So, we will write i and then this plus minus minus 1.5 into 1962j and k cross k is 0, right? So, this will become 0 and we can combine, we can combine this and this, right? So, we can combine this j terms, right? So, let me combine them. So, I will write it here. So, this will be r this and this will be plus p plus r divided by 2 j, right? So, now we will take the cross product. So, this will be plus and i with i, right? So, this is plus minus minus and when we multiply this 2 with this term, so 2 will cancel out. So, we will be left with this square root 3 r and i, i cross i is 0, right? So, this will become 0. So, there is no need to write it, right? And then we, when we multiply this with this, right? So, this is minus 2 minus 2 into p plus r divided by 2 and i cross j. So, i cross j is k, right? So, we will write k. Now, we will multiply this. So, this will become, when I multiply this, so this will minus and 6. So, this, the product of this and this will become r and 3 square root 3, right? and j cross i. So, j cross i is minus k. So, this will become plus. And similarly, when we take the cross product with this, so this will be minus 6 p plus r divided by 2 and j cross j is 0. Right? So, this will become 0. There is no need to write. Now, then this 
this when we multiply this and this when we take the cross product of this third term with this first term right so this will be plus 3 and the root 3 r by 2 and k cross i so k cross i is j right so we will write j similarly when we take the cross product of this and this so plus 3 p plus r divided by 2 and k cross j so k cross j is minus i right so this is minus i now when we combine all the i terms right so this is the i term and then here we have this i term right so if we combine this right so this is that two terms and then we combine j terms and then we combine k terms so we get this right and if we simplify this so then this is that equation right so this means that this is equal to 0 right so this means that this all these uh, components magnitudes are 0 right so this means that we can equate all these to 0 so using this equation uh, using this we can find r right so if I write that this equation so then this will be 1962 plus this divided by 2 equals to 0 right so then this will come here so then this will become plus uh, equals to plus 1962 right and then r will be equal to if we take the cross part right so this will be multiply by 2 divided by 3 square root 3 right so this will give us r so let me simplify this so when we solve this so r comes out to be 755 newtons right and if we take one of the equations from these two right so they will give us the p value right so if i take this equation so this will be 5886 minus 3 p minus r divided by 2 equals to 0 so now we know the magnitude of r so minus 3 p will be equal to r divided by 2 minus 5886 and if we find this right so this r is now 755 divided by 2 minus 5886 and if we divide this whole term by minus 3 so we will get that p magnitude so let me solve it and here i have missed one 3 right so when we multiply this with this so then here also comes 3 right so this means that this is 3 r divided by 2 so we have to multiply this r value with 3 first right so 755 divided by 2 so when we solve this so this gives us 1584 newtons right so in the problem you were asked to find this p and r right so this is the magnitude of p and this is the magnitude of that r reaction which is perpendicular to that to this d wall right so this is the solution of this problem